Hey folks, it's Lindsey Huddleston with SBS back in the building over at Birmingham Groves for the Derek Coleman DC League Summer League. In Birmingham Groves, the whole school just had a great victory over West Bloomfield. Uh, two of the players sat down with me a second ago, but I'm with the new first year head coach, Mark West. Coach, how you doing? I'm doing great. Great, how great. Doing? Nice to meet you. Hey, you had a great game just a minute ago. It was a lot of fun. The guys played well, uh, played hard. It was an up and down game, so uh -huh. th that's a team that's going to be in our league. Right. So it was kind of a, a nice treat to see what the season's going to bring. Yeah, one thing that was noticeable about West Bloomfield's team, coached by Arnett Jordan, is that uh, they had size. How was it having your guys uh, seem a little more skilled, if you will, going up against that size? That's one thing we talked about is they, they've got some big bodies, and <laughs> we are a pretty young team. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the guys that we're throwing at them are, are sophomores and juniors that – are really just getting started with their varsity career. So it was good for them to see and experience playing against that size. Uh, but when you when you have that size deficit, you got to beat them with organization. you got to beat them with some skill, sharing the basketball. So that's really what we'll talk about after that game. Yeah, I get it. I would see you uh, prior to the games as I was setting up. You guys are having your practice. Uh, you're transitioning. You're taking over for uh, former head coach Benny White. Uh, what has it been like coming in as a first-year coach with a lot of young guys and playing a tough West Bloomfield team early on? I mean, what's it been like? Well, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, Coach White did a great job. So you're coming into a situation where there is organization, there is structure, there is discipline. I mean, the guys play the, the game the right way, and, and, you know, Coach White does it the right way. So that part's been very, very easy. Um, this summer has really been about getting to know each other, getting to know what I can bring to the program, uh, getting for me, getting to know what these players' strengths are and, and how I can try to use those. So there's been a couple of adjustments already where I've seen, okay, you can really go in this way. Let's get you the ball in this situation and just let you do your thing. Um, and, and you saw that with with Elijah Yelder. You know, he can he can do some different things on the wing. So we're got to try to uh, use that to our advantage. Um, and the same thing, you know, uh, you talked to Josh a little bit, just seeing what he can bring, and then also teaching him. Like you, he was a freshman on varsity last year. You're no longer that freshman, and now you gotta you gotta take some charge out there, and you gotta go get the ball for us, and uh, settle things down when it gets chaotic. So, trying to teach at the same time, but really, you know, June is just gonna be about getting to know each other. Yeah, you've been doing a good job with that, yeah, Josh, and uh, you know, uh, both those young men were so uh, impressive just getting there to meet them like that. You get a young player coming on with Josh, and you had a senior uh, type player with Elijah coming in. How lucky are you, man, to take on as a new coach, but then you get, you know, seasoned young people as a freshman, excuse me, a sophomore and a junior to be part of that core for you? Oh, that, that part's huge. You know, when you look at it, uh, we had two two guys that were going to be sophomores out there almost the whole time today. Uh, so you know you're going to be able to build a relationship over the next three years and, and really hopefully a foundation of what we're going to be about here at Grove. So those two are definitely going to be a big part of it. Um, and then this summer, we've been rotating through guys, you know, like everybody is. We've got a couple guys out to, you know, today with vacations and family and football and baseball. So guys are doing a bunch of different things. So, again, this, this whole June, just getting to know each other and, and seeing these strengths. But you see Coach White left a foundation. And now we just got to run with it. Yeah, I mean, perfect transition. I'm putting my sports psychology hat on. How do you manage expectations, whether it's here at Groves or just as a new coach or just coaching in 2022 and beyond? Yeah, you know, I think expectations mean that you're in the right spot. If you're coaching without expectations or you're playing without expectations and the, the expectation is not to be a winning program or a winning team or, a, you know, a, a, a very good contributing basketball player, then I think you're doing it the wrong way. So managing those expectations, I think, you know, you you got to set the right ones. So June, not necessarily, we're not winning any championships in June. We're right. getting to know each other. That's the expectation. But come the season, we you know we've made it very clear that our expectation is we want to be a good basketball team and we want to compete for a league and uh, you know go out there and play at a high level. Yeah, I like that. You kind of kind of summed it up for me when you talk about uh, what people can expect of you, so they can expect Birmingham Grove basketball is going to be competing. Is what you're saying? That we are going to compete every game. I got it. I got it. Anybody you want to give a shout out to before we let you get out of here? Uh, you know, just our athletic director Tom Flynn setting uh, setting us up. You know, he's he's done a great job here. Uh, Obviously, Derek Coleman for bringing everybody in, and Carl Diedrich, uh, who's coaching with us, running this thing, putting the show together. Uh, it's not an easy job, and those guys are doing a great job with it. Yeah, doing without a sweat. That's a great thing. Well, I want to wish you the best of luck. we got first-year head coach Mark West. Uh, we look forward to great things. It's been a pleasure meeting you, okay? Thank I'm you. I'm sure we'll be sitting down some more, all right? That sounds great. Okay. Lindsey Hudson with SBS. See you guys next time. Peace.